Hi guys, welcome back to Bantor Sats, where we talk about all things LSAT and law school. Today, I'm walking you guys through a day in the life at Harvard Law School. I'm gonna walk you guys through all my classes, where I like to study, basically show you all the ins and outs of what it's like to go to school here. Without further ado, let's get started. First thing Monday morning, I'm headed off to my first class of the day, corporations. My first stop is Austin Hall, the oldest and arguably most famous building on campus. Let's head inside. As you can see, corporations is a huge class and it's a full house today. Before class begins, I make my way to my seat and say hi to my good friends Hillary and Catherine. After class, it's officially lunchtime all across campus and I'm off to the WCC to grab some food. It's a gorgeous day outside, so I'll take the scenic route along Mass Ave. Later, I arrive at the WCC, the main hub for all the law students on campus. It's home to most of our classrooms, dining areas, lounges, and study spaces. Today, I'm eating at the main cafeteria in the Hark. After lunch, I make my way to my second class of the day on the second floor of the WCC, Copyright and Trademark Litigation. After copyright, I have about 30 minutes before my next class, International Intellectual Property. It's located in the basement of the WCC, and today I'm arriving a little bit early to show you guys the setup of the classroom. After class, I'm headed upstairs for an end of semester celebration with the board of APALSA, the Asian Pacific American Law Students Association. Serving on APALSA is one of the highlights of my HLS experience, and I highly recommend getting involved with a student org when you're in law school. APALSA is like a second family to me. Say hi! It's back to corporations Tuesday morning, and more often than not, I arrive just in the nick of time. After class, I'm back at the WCC for lunch. I'm headed to one of my favorite spaces to eat in the law school, the pub. Before we get there, I'm gonna take the long way around the school to show you some of the outdoor eating spaces we have too. The pub is one of my favorite places to eat because it's smaller, it's intimate, and it's eccentric. There's a lot of unique artwork on the walls, and I like to come here if I'm looking to unwind between classes. When I'm done with lunch, I head upstairs to get some studying done. The study space I'm going to show you guys today is called the Student Org Room. It's down the hall and next to the student lockers. Let's check it out! The student org room is a great place to study if you're looking for a casual atmosphere where you can chat and collaborate. It's called the student org room because, you guessed it, a lot of student orgs have their meetings here. The space has a wide range of comfy seating and it has a great view. Plus, it's close to all the WCC classrooms. 
later, I head to the Board of Student Advisors office to drop off some things. The Board of Student Advisors, called BSAs for short, serve as teaching assistants to the first year legal research and writing program. We also mentor 1Ls and administer the Ames Moot Court competition, which will actually take place tonight. This is all to say I'm going to need some extra sugar to keep me going this afternoon. And with that, it's back downstairs for my international IP class. After class, I have the honor of joining the judges and Ames competitors for dinner before the final round of the Ames Moot Core competition. The Ames competition is one of the most prestigious Moot Core competitions in the nation, and the final is one of the highlights of the school year. Tonight, we have the honor of being joined by former Harvard Law School Dean and current Supreme Court Justice, Elena Kagan. If you guys are interested, I have a link of this year's oral argument down below in the description box. It was a late start this morning after a stunning Ames Moot Core competition last night, and after class, I'm headed off to our weekly BSA meeting. Again, I'm taking the scenic route along Mass Ave, but this time, I'm taking you guys past Hastings Hall, the oldest residence hall at HLS. After my walk, I arrive at Pound Hall, where our BSA meeting is taking place this week. This building is also where a lot of our legal research and writing classes take place. After the meeting, I'm pretty hungry, so I head off to the heart for a late lunch with my friend Irene. On Wednesdays, my afternoon class schedule is pretty free, so after lunch I head to one of my favorite secret study spots off campus. It's a little far, but I think you'll enjoy the walk there. Yeah, my favorite secret city spot is in Harvard College, which is right down the block from Harvard Law School. The university campus is home to the gorgeous Widener Library, and it's about a seven minute walk from the law school. I love to come here for three main reasons. One, the walk across campus is refreshing. Two, the library is beautiful. And three, sometimes it's just nice to have a change of scenery. See for yourself. After spending an hour and a half in the library, it's late afternoon and time to head back for my last class of the day.
My last class of the day is wildlife law at 4.15 p.m. and it takes place on the third floor of the WCC. The third floor is made up of smaller seminar rooms that are great for more intimate, discussion-based classes. I'm getting to class a little bit early to show you guys what the third floor classrooms look like. By the time I get out of class around 6.15, it's dark outside. Campus is still beautiful lit up at night, but it's definitely time to go home and rest. On Thursdays, I don't have commitments until the late afternoon, so I usually spend my mornings reading. My first stop is Langdale Library. We're headed to the reading room on the fourth floor, and I think you're in for a treat. The reading room in Langdale Library is in my opinion the most beautiful study space on campus. It's also the most quiet, so if you're committed to hunkering down for a couple of hours without interruption, this is the space to do that. I'm headed to the Carrolls on the very back of the library for maximum concentration for the next three hours. Once I've gotten my fill of intensive studying, I'm headed to the WCC for lunch and a study break. After I'm done with lunch in the pub, I head over across the walkway to Belinda Hall. Belinda Hall is a space I gravitate towards when I'm looking for a cozy atmosphere that doesn't take itself too seriously. It's right in the heart of the WCC, so you're always bound to run into a friend here between classes. My favorite thing about the study space is that the fireplaces are real and very nice to sit in front of when studying. I'll spend the next two hours here looking through emails and chatting with some folks before my next meeting at 2 p.m. At 1.50 p.m., I'm headed off to Pound Hall to meet with my teaching group on the second floor. This year, I'm serving as a teaching fellow for the winter term class, Leadership Fundamentals. Today, we're getting a head start on our course planning logistics. After our meeting ends at 3.30, I head back downstairs and get ready for the first year legal research and writing class that I help TA for as a BSA.
today is an extra special day in LRW because this is the last class for the 1Ls and we are surprising them with personalized gingerbread cookies, a Section 7 legal research and writing tradition. When LRW is over, it's 6.15 and night time. It's time to head back home for a good night's rest. All right guys, this brings me to the end of the week, Friday. I actually don't have any classes on Friday, so instead of following me around, I'll be sharing some of the extra footage I got of campus in this segment. As a 2L, I get to choose my classes and organize my schedule how I like. So I stacked my classes on the earlier half of the week and reserved Friday as an off-campus day. I am a big proponent of building self-care into one schedule, even in the busy world of law school. I encourage you to do the same. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the week in my shoes as a 2L in Harvard Law School. This is a really beautiful place to be, but I promise you what makes this place really special is the people. Wherever you go to law school, whether it be here or someplace else, embrace it, own it, and make it your own. Explore your favorite spaces and figure out what schedule and atmosphere works best for you. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos or any questions about my law school experience, please let me know down below in the comment section. I'm always happy to help. And if you enjoyed today's content, please like this video to support my work and subscribe for all things LSAT and law school. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Oh! <laughs> that was on camera. <laughs>